Hi, I'm David the Brute, and this is Jungle Queens, and today we have an amazing Jungle Queen for you. Yes, it's <laughs> Rochelle Hudson in The Savage Girl, 1932. Yes, and um, actually, if you do the math, uh, she was born in 1916, 1916, so here she is, all of 16 years old. Yes, RKO, who signed her, had to bump her age up two years so that the public could accept such a young girl in a uh, romantic lead role, which she has here. I mean, she's the lead character, and uh, she falls in love with this guy. Anyway, so yeah, here she is at age 16 in a leading romantic role as a jungle queen. They did that back then, you know, they would fudge on the age of actresses and actors. Um, but, you know, it was before the internet, you know, when you could just log on and get any kind of information about anybody. They could control what was said and uh, even construct new lives, uh, um, bi biographies of, of movie stars, and they did, yeah. Sometimes when you're doing a little research on, on these actors, you know, you, you, you have to kind of weed through what what is uh, released by the studio and what is actual truth, particularly when you're reading the old newspapers, because the old newspapers, you know, they just got their stuff like a lot of, you know, they just got it from the studio, you know. So they just said what they've been told by the studio. But anyway, yeah, she was, she was an amazing actress, and uh, I, I just so respect her. Uh, she was in the business for, for quite some time. Here's a real interesting piece of info about our Jungle Queen for today. In 1941, when Pearl Harbor was bombed, attacked, and America entered into the war overseas, World War II, she and her then husband, uh, as civilians, became spies and went into Mexico looking for um, uh, Nazis, German Nazis who were doing work down there against the United States. Yep, she did that. Yep, she did that. Yep, and another time uh, she left Hollywood and managed a 10,000 acre ranch in Arizona. Yes, she did. <laughs> Man, this, this gal is just, it's just too amazing to be true and uh, I adore her and I, I just uh, think the world of her that they come from the same family that Henry Hudson who discovered the Hudson River in the Hudson Bay all that you know that Hudson River Hudson Bay that's all part of her family history that's from once she uh, descends uh, so she she has real American roots doesn't she she also has now this is really interesting she has um, three films that are in the National Film Registry and those films are, and she was in each one of these, uh, She Done Him Wrong, 1933, which would be a year after this one, by the way, The Wild Boys of the Road, 1933, same year, and uh, Imitation of Life, 1934, she would have been 18 at that time, and then Rebel Without a Cause in 1933. 35. So there you, oh, I'm sorry, 1955. 1955. That's pretty good. So she has three films in the National Registry. Um, that's, you know, that's not very many people can say that, but she can. Anyway, I can talk on and on. I am not, you are going to enjoy this film. As simple as it is, just just think of a, of a young gal who just really has an itch to make it in Hollywood, and by Jove, she's doing it. And this is one of the roles that got her there. And uh, it's silly, it's, uh, but it's a fun ride. You know, uh, basically the plot is she's being protected by a gorilla who has kind of adopted her as his daughter. Yep, no kidding. <laughs> and we learned that you should respect women. Me too. You should not attack women. No, because you might upset the gorilla. Yeah. Okay, I'm David the Bruce. Let's go.
their native haunts, wild animals, are seldom as savage as some hunters would have you believe. I've discovered that if one comes across them unexpectedly in the jungle, they're just as afraid of you as you may be of them. They seldom start a row unless they're famished or attacked. And they're good friends, loyal and faithful. As you know, my profession is that of trapping these wild animals alive. It's my proud boast that I've never yet killed one except in self-defense. I feel more at home in the jungle than in the crowded streets of your great city. One is safer in South Africa than in many a speakeasy or nightclub in this city. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, the baby blue eyes of some of your glorified Follies beauties conceal more hidden dangers than many a savage beast. Yes, most interesting that you know I've heard in years. Amazing experiences, amazing. <laughs> most kind of you to have come and told us about your adventure. Not at all. I'm glad you weren't bored. <laughs> There, you didn't mention tigers during our talk, Mr. Franklin. Well, you see, sir, this evening I confined myself to my African expedition. There are no tigers in Africa. No tigers in Africa? No, sir, no tigers in Africa. Well, well. I don't think I care so much about tigers anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we can do without them if we have to. <laughs> Amos P. Stitch is my name. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Stitch. And I'm glad to know you, Jim Franklin. I've read your books, and I like your type of man. Thank you. I do a little fishing occasionally myself. Fishing? Fishing, and polo, and golf, and tennis, and of course, uh, occasionally a little drink. Now, as I was telling you, I have a nice little house in Westchester. Westchester. I always have trouble with that word. Westchester County. You know where I mean. Oh, of course, yes. Sure. As I was saying, a nice little house. I have a swimming pool, a golf course, a polo field, and a trout stream. Really? But no zoo. No zoo? No. Mm -hmm. And I never realized until I heard your lecture this afternoon what my place needs now is a zoo. Well, of course, very few houses in Westchester have zoos. That's just the point. That's why I should have one. I want to be different. Would you consider getting one together for me? Well, of course. Uh, we'll talk it over later, old boy. You'll excuse me. Oh, Robertson, I wanted to tell you about that... Uh, uh, right. That week. Curious chap, that fellow Stitch. Yes, he is. He's been politely plastered for the last 30 years. But everybody likes him. <laughs> I can understand that. He's not to be trifled with or taken lightly in spite of his usual condition. He's one of the wealthiest men in America and always carries out his whims no matter how fantastic or costly they may be. Hmm. You don't say. Why don't you take him up on that zoo proposition? He'd pay you well. No, they don't. Shh. But keep it a secret. I will, sir. I may at that. If you think he was serious. I'm sure he was. He's always eccentric, but very reliable. He usually means what he says. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Stitch, I've been thinking over that zoo proposition. I'd like to talk to you about it, if I may. Glad to do it. Sit down. Thank you. Have a drink? Uh, later. Later? Oh, yes, of course. Later. Uh, I was thinking that if you were on the level about wanting some animals for your zoo, I'd like to go on an expedition and get them for you. I'll go with you. 
and I'll pay all the expenses. I've always wanted to see Africa anyway. That's fine. When can we start now? Just a minute. Just a minute. Waiter. Waiter. Bring me a telephone. Come in, sir. Come in. This is Amos P. Stitch. Find out when the next boat leaves for Africa. And let me know right away. For Africa. For Africa. Yes, I'm in a hurry. The next boat leaves at 10 o'clock in the morning, Mr. Stitt. All right, I'll take it. <clears throat> What's this? That's an automatic rifle, sir. Latest model. Good. Wrap it up. I'll take it. Hey, just a minute. What do you want with that? We're going to capture the animals, not kill them. We might bump into some African gangsters, a revolution or something. And it's best to be on the safe side. <laughs> Wrap it up. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to ask you something. Is it true that elephants is afraid of mice? Oh, I couldn't say for certain. See, I've never seen an elephant confronted with a mouse. Oh, haven't you? Never have. How's that? You say there's no mice in the jungle? No mice. Pardon me. Porter. Get this stuff off, will you? You might need some help. Huh. George. Heard. What's the meter say? 940. Say, are you guys really going to Africa? All my life, I wanted to go to Africa. Guess it. to the end of the pier, and I'll tell you where to go from there to the best hotel. Is Aski your name? Yes, boss. That's my name. Curious? Most curious. Says which? I merely remarked, the boss, boss. You're not? No, sir. I was just stranded here. I come from Harlem, New York City, 
And I sure does itch to get back. That's right. I'm a New Yorker myself. That's what I heard. And that's why I done took this job. I kind of hope you all might take me back there with you when you go. Hello there, Fitch. Uh, I'd like to introduce um, Eric Bernuth, Mr. Fitch. Did you say Vermouth? Bernuth. Oh, Bernuth. I've engaged Eric as my assistant. He knows just about as much of the jungle as I do. Good. Sit down, gentlemen. Hey. Will you join me? Or later, perhaps. <laughs> later, yes. And you, Mr. Uh... Bernouth. Oh, Bernouth, yeah. I always say that a drink between men is a good way to become friends. I agree with you. And here's mud in your eye. Mmm. Here goes. Uh, now let's look at the map, huh? Mm -hmm. Here's our destination. See yeah. it? Right there. That country no good for white men. Mm-hmm. That's where we're going, just the same. No good. Bad natives. Well, you don't think I'm going to let a few natives scare me, do you? All right. You take the chance. What chance? I told you, bad natives. You worship a jungle goddess, a white woman, who really is loose in the jungle, and the animals are her friends. Yes. I've heard all that before. <laughs> it's nonsense. Uh, no. People believe it. Well, have you ever seen her? No white man has ever seen her. They say she was a white baby that got lost and grew up in the jungle. Yeah, uh, fiddlesticks. Now, here's our starting point. Mm -hmm. It won't be very easy going, but in about three or four days, our safari should be well into the interior. Mm -hmm. From that point on... It's going to be pretty tough sledding. Mm -hmm. Hunger! Mm -hmm. I guess we have to go that way. I don't know. I'll check. Just a minute. No, that's southwest. We'd oh, better wait. keep heading that way, yes. That way. This way, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. They do sound ominous, don't they? They make voodoo, a religious wild dance. They sacrifice humans in honor of their jungle god. Oh, Eric, you've been reading cheap magazines. <laughs> you wouldn't laugh if it was you the one to sacrifice. You, you hear that? I'll say I do. It goes in their blood like whiskey. It gets wilder and wilder. It torture you and kill you. Oh, come now, that's only hearsay. You've never seen it. Nobody has ever. Well, forget all about it. Anyway, we don't want to make the boys nervous. Barunga! Come on. Let's get going.
Morava. Ah, Morava. Alico? No. Moni. No, Coti G. Loki tu. Loki tu. Nomi. Nongo. 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 Gosh, that won't do. I get a healthy beast in there, he'll smash it right away. Adeo, Bungaleo. I can go, Bull. Join me? I can't refuse the tongue shrimp. Well, maybe it gives you some courage for the hunt. Sorry I wasn't invited to the party yesterday, though. Party? What party? Someone was giving a dance. Didn't you hear the drums? Oh, you wanted to be invited for the dance? Yes, very fond of jazz. <laughs> Well, my dear friend, you were very fortunate. You were not invited. Well, I guess I go and help with the king. Peculiar fellow, that German Oscar. He's positively anti-social. Everything ready? Yes, everything set. Well, let's be on the way, huh? Aya! Arunga! 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 Well, there we are. She looks okay to me now. Mr. Lion walks in, takes the bait, and down comes the trap. We've yeah. got him. Yeah, just give it time. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> well, I suppose we better cover it up with some brush, huh? Yeah, well, I'm out. What? 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 So come on, let's get going. All right. What's the 
matter, you little fella? Huh? Oh, poor old. Oh, is that it? Have a look. Oh, well. I guess. Mother. Ever see a funnier face than that? Oh, wouldn't even be bothered with it. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna. Nice bouncy. Nice bouncy. Come on out. Don't be afraid. Come on. Sweet little fella. Sweet little fella. Isn't he, Oscar? Yes, of course. He sure is. Do you realize, Oscar, that this is the only mouse, as we know them, in the African jungle? The only one, both? The only one. Extraordinary, isn't it? Yes, of all. Do you know why I brought him with us? No, sir, boss, I don't. He doesn't know it either. But he's to participate in the great scientific experiment. You say he is, boss? Yes, Oscar. The elephant mouse experiment. Never before attempted in the heart of the jungle under scientific conditions. will be tickled to death with him, wouldn't he, huh? God, aren't you a beauty? <laughs> sure. oh, I like old boy, but you're not going to get your claws on me. <laughs> <laughs> What was that dream? Sounded like a... Sounded like a woman's voice. They, uh, oh, nonsense. You've got that junk goddess on the brain. under this and get back to camp. All right, what? 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 Get a boat. Hi there, big boy. Huh? Huh? Well, there he is. How do you like him? Marvelous. Very nice. 
Very nice indeed. Good. Yeah. I guess I go to bed now, huh? That's an idea. Let's all turn in, huh? Good night, Alec. Good night. Good A noise? Yes, didn't you? Oh, I thought I did. So did I. Must have been a mistake. I guess. What is loose? Ditch! Ditch! Something the matter? I'll say there is. The animals are gone. Oh, why, so they are. I told you this country is no good for hunting. Jungle gods. The animals are all her friends. Oh, nonsense. The animals are gone, aren't they? Jungle goddess. As if there could be such a woman. If I thought... Jungle goddess. Yes, you were right after all, Eric. White girl, too. Mm. She's beautiful enough to be a goddess. She's pretty. Yes, she is. Hold on.
the right way to treat a lady. A lady? <laughs> She's just as wild and ferocious as many an animal I've tried to capture. You should have seen her try to bite me. Mm. Just a wildcat, huh? But it hardly seems right to keep her here against her wishes. Oh, don't worry. I just want to make friends with her. We'll let her go as soon as we can. Yeah. Just like a Tigers, hmm? Okay, fellas, let's leave her alone, shall we? She's strange around here. Come on. Oh, just as I thought, you filthy drunk. No. No, no. Not too drunk to understand why you get mad. Huh? Oh, and what's that? She's a woman. She's white. She's beautiful. She's warm. She's smooth. You want it all for yourself. Shut up and get back to your hut. I won't shut up and I won't go back. <laughs> I may surprise you yet. Maybe I make you share her with me yet, huh? Get up. Get up. And now go back to your hut and pack your things. You can take two of the black boys to show you the way back to the village. And if you're not out of camp in half an hour, it's just going to be too bad. All right. 
I go. But I come back. And when I do, I have a nice surprise for you, huh? Just wait. Just wait. What did he mean? I don't know, but he's a bad one. He may be bluffing. I don't think so. True, Oscar. Quite true. Yes, boss. Sorry. I promise you, that tramp won't bother you again. Promise? No. He won't bother you again. Again? Again? Sure. That crack goes for me, too. Keep away from men. We've all got a little of the tramp in us. Uh. Ah. And listen, don't do that. Not that I don't like it, you understand. But, well, I'm going to set you free. Going to send you back to the jungle. With the animal where you belong. Belong? Belong? And if you like, I'll go hunt somewhere, somewhere else. I've got to get you out of this camp. In a few days, you'll have me eating out of your hands. Goodbye, little goddess. You let her go. Yes. As you said, we couldn't keep her here forever. Did she bite you before you let her go? No. She seemed to understand and just walked off into the jungle. That's where she belongs, anyway. Of course. Of course. She was a beauty, though. Most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh, boss! Oh, boss! Boss! The taxi, I'm ready. All right, Oscar. We're just going off on a little hunting expedition of our own. Okay, I'll see you later. Later. Come on, Oz. Governor? Oh, uh, just through the jungle. We're looking for a... Governor, a elephant. The moment for our scientific experiment has arrived.
on, Rocky. Go get him. Come on, Marcy. Come on. Come to Papa. Come on, Marcy. Come on, Marcy. Come on. Oh, nice little Marcy. You played your part very well. And the National Geographic Society will hear of you. Yeah, all right. I can get the Marcy a steak when we get to the hotel. Yes, Paul. Yes, sir. You, you tell the chief that some white man had stolen the jungle goddess. Tell him keep her locked up, huh? No more position of our satisfaction, you know, how Michi Kapa, but it is not a shiha, Machi. So you came back. You know, there are lots of things I'd like to know about you, if you only un understood my talk. Talk? Talk? That's it, yes. T-A-L-K. <laughs> it's a thing most of us do far too much of. Talk. Sure. There are lots of things I'd like to tell you. But you don't understand. Tonight. But one day you will. in there. And may you sleep like a top. Sleep? Sleep. That's what I said. What are you doing here? Oh, now, listen, you're, you're nice to look at, but, but you can't do this, you know. <laughs> Think of old Stitch. 
he wouldn't like it. And, and uh, well, what did Walter Winchell say if he heard about it? Oh, no. Now, uh, listen, you've got to go home. Come on, right away. Come on. Now, young lady, this is your place, and here you stay. Stay? Yes, you heard me. Stay. All night. Good night. Wake up. What's the matter? What's the matter? I'm going off on a little hunting expedition into the jungle all by myself. Okay, Governor. Hunting all morning, and not an animal in sight. It's awful quiet around here. I can fix that, Governor. Like home, blow it again. Oh. Mm. No, you wouldn't share with me, huh? Never mind. I fixed it so that they use you for their sacrifice. <laughs> you hear that? 
<laughs> I won't be here for the end. I'll be with the jungle god. How you like that? You lay a hand on that girl and I'll break oh, every... Maybe you come back and hunt me, huh? Well, I go now. And I give your love to the jungle god. The natives done got Mr. Jim, and they're taking him to the village. Get in. You don't understand. Mr. Franklin is dead. Me boss. Me boss. Uh, where is the girl? Oh, uh, Mama Balaba. You stay here. Mind your own business. Old man, untie me quickly. <coughs> oh, now what's the matter? We're out of gas. What? Out of gas? No gas. We gotta get back to camp. Come on. <laughs> He don't want to share you with me, huh? <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 
Will you uh, join me in a little drink? Um, later. Yes, of course. Later. <laughs>